Oh, that place is beautiful. I have to tell you, this has really been fascinating for me. I've been spending time with Aurel Anut, who is a, a, officially trained as an iconographer, work in churches. And yet he has these old world skills that he's employ employing at beautiful houses in Northern California. I hope you guys cannot, I don't know if you can grasp, this is, this is a lime plaster, correct, Oral? Yeah, it's a lime-based plaster. And it, it has this marble feel to it, and it's shiny and smooth. And it, it feels so different from any surface I've ever felt in a house. It, it feels like it's been here a hundred years, a thousand years. Yes, and uh, it's very interesting uh, to have something like that in your home. And it's uh, old or the texture. And, uh... Yeah, yeah well, let's walk along here because there's much to show. We're walking through a beautiful home that is obviously still under construction here in the Sacramento area. Oral will spend two or three months here doing the finishes in this house if it gives you some idea of what kind of work it is and, and the, the cost of work like that. As we go by, we're going to peek up high. Hang in there, fellas, just for a second. Look up high inside here. You're going to see uh, a faux fresco, the painting around the outside. We're going to talk about the technique he might have used to do that as you head on into the first room we were in this morning. We're walking past uh, more of this lime plaster finish here. In this room, it's a Venetian plaster, which, you know, they talk about at Home Depot, but forgive me, it doesn't turn out the same. Uh, Oral, I want to show folks, uh, we're going to start down here if we can. Yeah. You had done the, uh, the faux fresco up above, essentially a painting on. Yeah, it's a painting over the dry plaster, and I, uh, I use a technique like uh, Michelangelo did uh, many years ago, thousand uh, years ago, and uh, we do like uh, very interesting uh, tools, how we make like this. Well, and, and specifically, it is this stick that is so interesting. I've never seen anybody use a technique like this. He ha what, there's, a, there's a German name for the stick. What is that? It's a Mahler stock. Mahler stock. It's a, a help uh, stick, uh, help hand. Stick that helps your hand. Yes. And he, it has a, a soft pad on the end, and you use this, in fact, you were demonstrating with me up above, this very technique for painting on the wall next to you and up above you. In fact, if you could just show, I know you're not going to paint on the wall, but yes. show, show if you were to paint on this wall or above your head, look how he uses the stick. And that keeps his hand away from the finished surface, and he can do it overhead or on the walls. That is one technique I'm taking away from what we've done today. And as we run off here, I'd like to end showing you troweling. I might even give it a try myself before we're done here today. But the applying of the material, whether it's Venetian plaster or lime plaster, it really all comes down to the skill with the trowel, doesn't it? Yes. It's, uh, and it, uh, when you apply, you need to use a very special trowel for uh, apply a Venetian plaster or lime-based plaster, and you, ne you need to keep the uh, trowel like uh, 15, 15 yeah. degree. Okay, I'm going to hold this up. If you want to put some on there, I'll be your backdrop here, yeah, Oral. You, you try to... And again, all the work that you're seeing him do on the walls, it's all done with trowel. He's going to apply this. And if it was one of the finishes you've seen, he'd come back later after it's partially dried and you essentially smooth it one more time, polish it with the trowel, correct? Yes, polish with the trowel. And after that, you can apply a soapstone. It's a soapstone. It's a clear soap to protect the plaster. And it just makes it smooth and beautiful. We have to run. I'm going to stay and keep watching. I'll send it back to you guys. Extraordinary work we've seen here today. Fabulous. Thank you, Paul. He's truly an I'm artist. envisioning my future house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha have Jose get all over that. Byzantine Painting Studio is located at 601 Crocker Road in Sacramento. Sacramento, visit ByzantineMurals.com. Oh. A warning for parents this morning, the Attorney General calling for some toys to be pulled from shelves.